This is life. And it's quite obviously life. And such a life where we are going to meet many people. Maybe we invited these people to our lives by ourselves. Maybe we saw them and we walked up to them, we smiled and we talked. And then somehow, by some magical uh, reason, they were allowed to enter our lives. Maybe these people came to you, but you guys met. And we might have learned one single thing that goes against the common saying that first impressions are last impressions. It simply is not true. Many people in society wear masks and they hide their true selves. And it later comes out spreading this negative energy in our lives. And when I say energy, I'm not referring to a religious or spiritual sort of vibe. But I refer to the many times you might have sighed and felt immense sadness, stress and depression due to these toxic people. That is the bad energy that disturbs everything else. When good energy is disturbed, it leaks into every part of your life. This is a truth and it is deeply damaging. Imagine having something on your mind that is toxic and ugly because of some idiot and you're at work, do you think you can give your work your all? What if, for example, you are driving and this thing is on your mind? Tell me, is that safe? What if you have children and cannot fully attend to them? Because of this thing going on in your mind, this person saying these things to you, who's causing huge disturbance in your life. You see, this is a serious topic. You might be coping with something deeply damaging without a clue about how it affects your life. So it raises the question of whether you want to select the many parts of your life that require you or do you want to select the person that is damaging your mental health that affects the many parts of your life. Listen, as I said, this is life. But do not forget that this is your life. And it being your life means you are the engineer, the creator, the builder of your destiny. You have power over your life. And you can take the right steps to remove these people from your life. Now I understand many of you may fear the consequences and many of you may even rely on these people. But I'm here to tell you that the world is wide, round and that there are many parts out there for you. Don't be scared of anything. Don't be scared of the unknown. There are so many ways to navigate around the world. So many things you can do to retain that power. To get that love from somewhere else. To get that peace from somewhere else. Okay? So do not be scared of letting go. Let's take, for example, um, Max Turner. He's a philosopher of egoism who extolled the virtues of radical self-assertion. And he says, I am the owner of my might and I am so when I know myself as unique. End quote. In embracing the ethos of egoism, we transcend the shackles of social obligation, reclaiming our own rule over our lives with a unyielding conviction. Letting go of toxic relationships is not an act of selfishness, do not think that, but it's an assertion of our inherent right to self-care and self-fulfillment. Now let's take another philosophical thought. Let's take nihilism for example with its stark rejection of conventional moral constructs and it invites us to confront the abyss of existential despair with fearless abandon. Now let's take Frederick Misha, okay, who said, that which is done out of love always takes place beyond good and evil. End quote. In letting go of toxic ties, we confront the void with defiant courage, transcending the illusory faces of right and wrong to embrace the great essence of our desires. Tyler Durden from Fight Club, who embodies the anarchic spirit of rebellion against the suffocating constraints of modernity. He says, 
let that which does not matter truly slide, urging us to shed the heavy baggage of toxic relationships that weigh us down. That which does not matter shall slide, shall go, shall be blown away and be rid of. Don't hold these heavy, heavy bags in your life, which you don't need. Don't hold on to these possessions, which you don't need. Let it go. Be free. Be light. In cinema, we've seen many, many quotes. Okay? So cinematic wisdom, too, it offers glimpses into the profound truth of letting go. In the timeless classic, for example, The Shawshank Redemption, which I'm sure many of you have seen, there's this guy called Andy. And Andy declares, get busy living or get busy dying. Okay? In the confines of Shawshank Prison, Andy learns the invaluable lesson of liberation. He learns about freedom. Transcending the confines of his physical Activity through the power of the human spirit. So, too, must we break free from the chains of toxic relationships, lest we languish in the prison of our own making. Now, the benefits of letting toxic people go are manifold, extending far beyond the world of mere detachment. It's a sacred act of self-care, a defiant declaration of autonomy, autonomy in the face of hardships as we say goodbye to the toxic people in our lives we create space for authentic connections to blossom nourishing our souls if if you want with the essence of exchange and mutual respect but what all i have said is advice how do we let go of such people? Well, the first thing we must do is acknowledge that these people are toxic. We must accept that certain individuals in our lives are toxic. You have to be honest with yourself. Do not lie to yourself, but be honest. Because the time is ticking and many things uh, take against the clock okay and many times against the clock these people have ruined you they have ruined you one too many times take note of that first secondly set your boundaries what are you you're human and what sort of human are you one that is living and breathing one that is living a life of your own how dare they feel they could bring such toxic means to your life. Be firm, be powerful. Because in this world, in this world, sorry, and yes, it's a very harsh truth what I'm about to say, only the powerful win. Those that assert their power and their boundaries are the winners. You can go and see, go back in time in history, look at anybody, all the great leaders, they asserted their power. So how about this? Create your line and have no fear. People may become angry. They may shout. They may whine. But you must tell these people that this is the contract. This is the rule. And that they should not cross it whether they like it or not. People have mouths. They're going to say things. This is what human people do. This is the human nature. They, they have things to say. Not everybody's philosophical like you or logical like you, or empathetic. They have mouths, they're going to say things. That's what people do all the time. Thirdly, look, take care of yourself. And I'm going to ask you a serious question. Are you a carpet? Do you want to be a carpet? Can a carpet brush itself and wash itself and then dry itself? Or do you want other people to wash you, brush you and dry you? If that is so, then people will always do it according to their own means. Take control of yourself. Love yourself, my friends. Put yourself first. This is your life. Fourthly, as I said, the world is wide and round. And it has so many people out there. There are so many paths. The best thing about this world, and I have travelled the world so much, 
what I have noticed is that there are good people. Some people are positive, energetic, lovely, and brilliant, just like you. Maybe even more than you. And that's what you need to seek. You need to seek those people in your lives. Seek strong, positive, and powerful people in your life that has logic and a better sense of life than you. You are the sum of your friends and partners. If you want to reach a better height in life, then find better people who bring happiness to you. Also, release your guilt. There is no selfishness here. There is never selfishness in moral happiness and well-being. I have explained to you that having such disgusting people <laughs> in your life is damaging to you and is damaging to every part of your life. There have been many cases of people dying from heart attacks, stress-related accidents, and sadly even taking their own lives at the hands of others. You tell me whether your so-called selfishness is better than staying around. No, it's not. Because if you feel guilty, that is much more damaging. Since having such stress pop up now and then damages your daily activities, your growth and most of all your health. Forgive yourself as well. Not the abuser, not the toxic people, but yourself for allowing these people in. Forgive yourself in the sense that you allow yourself peace of mind and well-being. Forgive yourself so that you can focus on your own growth. Learn from these toxic relationships and channel them into positive changes. Then you will see how improved your mental health becomes, how enhanced your self-esteem becomes, how en energetic you will be and how your emotions balance out beautifully. Do not fear the unknown, my friends. And remember, this is your life. You have control over it. I wish you all luck. Thank you.